Hello and welcome to my channel. Did you like the intro? It took me ages to do that. I thought to be try an intro. I might try other things, but there's one anyway. So, in this video, I thought I'd just do a bit of messing about. I got these feathers. I didn't know what to do. I got some glitter from Nail Sugar, but I don't use the blue one. I just use the white one, and I use some mylar pieces as well. But I don't know if I got them from Nail Sugar, but I use them. So I just got a finger off a thing and I just got a colour from Model 1's. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting their base coat on because, you know, help the nail. If you're doing this on an actual person, you're really meant to do, you know, put the base coat on, do it properly. So I got this colour. It was a number 1143 out of their kit. I'll link it in the video. I mean, I'll link it in the description box below. But I called it Cupid's, Cru Cupid's Crush because it doesn't have a name. They just come with numbers, so I like to num name them. So I called it Cupid's Crush, um, which I thought was quite a nice colour. Um, I didn't know what else to do, really. Like, colour-wise, I was just messing about. So this is my matte top coat that I got from Venelisa. If you haven't seen that, I've got a link to that as well, the video for that top coat that I've got for them. And it's really nice, and it's so smooth, and I don't know. So I'm here, I'm just messing about, trying to figure out how do I want to put this feather on, because I weren't sure how to do it really. So I thought, how do I do this? So I just thought what I'd do is I'll put a bit of um, matte top coat on, just to give it a glue, something for it to stick to. Um, them feathers I bought in a Christmas decoration in Wilkinson's for 50p. Now, the funniest thing, see I'm trying to lay it down, it took me ages to figure this out because it just wouldn't lay flat driving me nuts so the funniest thing is you walk into a shop now I work in B&Q's right and customers open up packets and it's like why did you do that so when I went for a little walk about in Wilkinson's there was feathers all over the place I thought I'll buy this bot this bauble because it's got feathers in it that I want 50p give it a go could you think I could open that thing oh my god it had a cork stuck in it, it was stuck in it so well I don't know how people can open these things and take stuff out, but it took me ages. Let's go in the kitchen and get a knife and everything. All right, so what I did here was I put another back, like another matte top coat on, and then I held it, tried to hold it flat under my lamp, baked it for 30 seconds, and then what I did was I just buffed it around the edges to tidy it up. So now what I'm doing is I'm just getting some micro mylar pieces, and I'm just putting them on. I, to be honest, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just sort of bunging it all on. So I'll give it another top coat just so that it's got something to stick to. Another matte top coat just so it's got something to stick to. Um, I just don't know what I was doing. I was just sort of like, let me just try something. I just wanted to do something. To be honest with you, I quite like it. Now I look it back on the video. I quite like it just as it is, as in the feather and then and the polish. But I wanted to do something else. I don't know. So there's my nail sugar little angels I don't know if they're still doing this glitter because it was for a charity they run earlier or last year later sorry last year so I bought a few bags of those um, it was for helping uh, bereaved parents who lost their babies so you know a pound out of every bag which was one pound 65 went straight to that charity so I bought a few bags right so I'm putting some on and I'm looking at and I'm thinking you know what I'm hiding that feather with these big stars and things. So I just took them off and I thought, well, I'll leave the bits at the top. The micromyla's not really gonna hide nothing. And because my brush had gel on it, I just dipped it in and just tw twiddled it just so that I got the little bits of iridescent fluff instead of like the big lumps of pieces of glitter. Didn't really want the big glitter on there. So now I've put that on, you can hear me talking. So what I did was, because once I put the micro mylar pieces on and it was too bumpy, I gave it a clear top coat and then what I did was I just filed it flat. Now I'm cleaning off all the stuff so that it's, you know, clean and usable, see? It don't look too bad. So now I'm going to give it another matte top coat to give it its finish. I only give it a top coat of something because I was buffing it down anyway. Because you don't want it bumpy, you want it smooth. You don't want it lumpy and bumpy. Um, it'd be alright if I was doing it in acrylic, but I was doing it with gel, so. So there it is, in all its glory. 
So now I've decided, I thought, I'll get a bit of paint and do a bit of painting. So I've got my lovely little Natalie Mugridge uh, super fine brush. I to show you against something dark, because I don't know if you could see it. So at first I thought, I'll do some swirls. Why not do some swirls? So I'm swirling it and swirling it and swirling it. And I'm painting and I'm painting and I'm thinking, the more I painted, you know, I thought, let me practice some hand, like nail art, like hand painting nail art. I thought the more I painted, the worse it looked. See, and I left this in to show you that if you paint a design with gel polish and you're not happy with it, just wipe it off and start again. And that's exactly what I did. <coughs> Sorry. So I've kept that in just to show you that, yes, if you make a mistake, don't stress, don't sweat the little things, just get a cloth, not a cloth, a lint-free cloth with some uh, rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, and just clean it off. You haven't, you're not committed to it, you're just trying it and you know, the more I've done it, the more unhappy I've become about it. Because I was thinking, you're taking away from the feather mesh. No one's gonna see that pretty little feather that you put in there. So I decided then what I'd do is I'll just wipe it off because look, see, just take it off, it doesn't matter, it's not a problem. So then what I did was I thought, you know what, let me just outline it. So that's all I did was I just got my gold paint and I just outlined it and I've done a thin line and I weren't too happy so I made it a bit thicker in the end just so that you could see that there was a frame around it. Now while I was painting this, I was watched, I remember years ago reading something when they first started to do outlines on nails and there was an article saying that doing this sort of thing is only for, for professionals. And I was like, I'm just painting that and I'm thinking, well, I'm not professional, but I can manage it. It's not rocket science really, is it, sweetie? It's just painting an edge, that's all it is. So yeah, I just thought I'll just give it a bit of something. I don't know whether it's a good design, it was just something I was doing while I'm messing about, just having a look trying things out that's what I'm saying I've got to start doing it so I'm going to start doing things now where I'll just do a design on one finger only because I only get 15 minutes to upload a video and if I want to add my intro um, then you know I've got to make sure my video is not too long and plus I like to fast forward a lot of my video because I think eh. I mean if you don't want me to fast forward any of it then let me know and I'll see what I can do um, maybe I could work quicker. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, l tell me about my intro. Please leave comments in the description box below, or actually in the comments box below, not the description box. And let me know what you think. Is it too long? Is it too short? Is it a bit stupid? Is it a bit funny? Whatever. I just sat there and made it, and then when I watched it back, I was like, huh, that's quite apt, really. But yeah, I tried it. So there it is, my finger in all its glory. If you like this video, thumbs up, hit the bell, yada yada, all the umph, and I'll see you later. Ta-da. Bye.